here we are. We're all trimmed up, looking very swanky. Oh my God, you can rescue me anytime. Right, so to complete making up the super suit, just before we bind it, we need to get the wrong side of our back. And the wrong side is, the, the, sorry, the right side is the one with the plaquettes. So we need the right side. And we're gonna go right sides together. I'm going to talk about something I haven't talked about before, which is directional sewing. Directional sewing is quite important when you want ends of things to match up with each other. So what we're going to do with the super suit is now that I've matched that arm, I'm going to start at the neckline and go down to the cuff. And then we're going to do the opposite neckline, sorry, the opposite arm from the neckline down to the cuff. Uh, you don't want to do one one way and then come up the opposite way. Because uh, they won't match and you'll be cross. So when we've done that, we're actually going to start at the cuff and we're going to sew to the armpit. And then we are going to go all the way down the side, all the way down, all the way down to the hem. And we're going to do that on the opposite side as well. And then you guessed it, the last thing to do is between the legs. So we're going to start at the hem and we're going to go up to the crotch we're going to pivot and we're going to come back down we're going to use a stretch stitch if your machine does not have a stretch stitch so your stretch stitch looks a bit like I call it the Harry Potter stitch it looks like that on your machine look like a bolt of lightning okay if you don't have one of those you're just going to use a regular zigzag stitch that's very good tension there Cheryl brilliant brilliant um if you have got both of these, but you also have an overlocker, now's the time to use it. Uh, I've got to be honest, I would certainly serge or overlock the straight bits. When it came to the inner arm, I don't know if I'd be that brave. But basically, if you're going to overlock the underarm, you want to start with the cuff. And when, so to go around a corner on an overlocker, don't forget it cuts about a centimetre before it sews. So you're going to come down here and when you get to this part, you're literally going to open the garment out and carry on in a straight line. So that's how to handle that. Now, if you want some more information about the stretch stitches, you can revisit the Woodland Fairy video that's in the video vault because we go into some detail there about stretch. And also on the French chic uh, Breton jersey top, the Raglan, the Raglan drop. Uh, shirt with the with the lovely stripes 